came out in Deadline. Apparently, now we know the Morbius movie is coming. We know a Ghostbusters movie is coming, all that kind of stuff. Well, they've now got official dates for these movies. Ghostbusters and the new Morbius have got dates. Deadline put out a report here and basically said this. Ghostbusters has a July 10th, so it's like a year and a half before it's in theaters. July 10th, 2020 release date and Morbius starring Jared Leto and based on Marvel's vampire antihero will come three weeks, just three weeks later on July 10th. 31st they uh so that's when Morbius is coming now if you go down a little bit further down there you see that the studio is also placeholder for a marvel pick on october 2nd 2020 that is presumably going to be venom 2 which is interesting because you're talking about july august september three months after morbius we're looking at getting venom 2 so rob that's a whole bunch of information there about three separate films ghostbusters morbius Venom 2. What do you think about the strategy right there, assuming that this October date is indeed for Venom 2, which is what it all looks like, right. of having Morbius and then just Venom 2 like three months later? What do you think about that? Well, I think it's it's a vote of confidence from the studio. So the mm. scripts are apparently good. I mean, it, it, to me, it means that we as audiences are going to win because they're, they have confidence on all three projects now, hopefully, and they're all going to get made. And, and uh, that's always a good thing. I mean, especially, I wouldn't say that they're rushing them into production because a year and a half is still a respectable time to finish a film. Oh, and we and who knows how long they've already been working on right. these. They, they could have been working on these for the last eight months. Right, absolutely. I mean, I don't think this Ghostbusters 2 thing, or Ghostbusters 3, Ghostbusters reboot, yeah. redux, whatever you want to call it, 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 this did not just come out of nowhere. They were planning it for a while. And I think it's great. I think it's great for us. You know, it's great for the audience. I still... Look, I had as much fun with Venom as anybody. I had a really good time with Venom. but And I'm really excited that Sony seems to be developing at least the first step in trying to develop their own cinematic universe. Now Now that Fox is disappearing, right. we need another player in the game here. I, and, and I like the character of Morbius. I do. I, I do too. I still find it to be an odd choice. Like, following up, like, even a Craven the Hunter seems like that would have been a little bit safer of a choice, like a little bit more palatable to the average movie going on. But they've got Morbius. Look, I love the idea of Jared Leto playing it. They seem to be moving full steam ahead. So like you're saying, it looks like they have some confidence in it. Yeah, although I do, like you said, I, I think it's an odd choice. I mean, Morbius the living vampire. You know, it's that's cool. I mean, I always wanted Jared Leto to play Lestat. From, oh, he would have been good in that. I yeah. mean, the Lestat is, the vampire Lestat's one of my favorite genre novels ever. And why they never made that sequel. You know, they went they went from Interview with the Vampire right to Queen of the Damned. And we never got a vampire list stat, which is their, my favorite of those books. And I wanted him to play that, but he's going to play Morbius instead. You know, to go against my own point about Morbius feeling like a weird choice, is it any weirder than a Venom movie without a Spider-Man? <laughs> no. Is it any weirder than that? And that worked out pretty damn well, so I, I guess we'll just have to wait and see.